Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. You know, over the past few weeks we received numerous phone calls about this new, mysterious comic book that appeared in comic book shops overnight across the country. It was an independent work entitled The Hero Trade, independently published by a company called Button Up Comics, but as we soon found out, this was actually Bad Idea's first published work. Now this was sent unsolicited to comic shops, so we're not sure how many actually survived. A lot of these unsolicited comics that show up at comic shops are just thrown away or destroyed. Nobody really cares. This one came with a, each copy came with a, you know, piece of printer paper that said, you know, please put our comic book on the shelf, you know, and try to sell it. If you'd like to order more copies, here's our uh, Gmail account. You can order more copies by uh, September 13th, 2020. After that, you know, the, the, the deadline is over so that you had to order everything by September 13th. So, like I said, as we found out, this was actually Bad Idea's first work. They tried to send it to comic book shops secretly overnight. No one ever solicited this. No one ever knew it was coming. It just kind of appeared overnight. This book was written by Matt Kind and illustrated by David Lapham. You should know those two names. They're incredibly important in the comic book industry right now. Uh, New York Times bestselling writer Matt Kind and Eisner, Eisner Award winner David Lapham illustrated this book. Like I said, very... Clever idea by Bad Idea. Uh, they sent them to their destination stores. I think there's only 100 stores that received one copy per store, and they were asked to put them on the shelf and sell them. So, like I said, I'm not sure how many actually survived and made it to the market, but there's not going to be many of these out there. We actually spoke directly to the guys at Bad Idea to try to get onto their mailing list to actually start ordering comics from them, but they have a very strict guidelines. You know, Bad Idea has a really revolutionary idea for the comic book industry. They're going to produce no variants, like one or two titles per month. They're not going to collect them in trade paperbacks, so, and you got to go to the comic book stores to get them. No digital releases, no online retailers. So since we don't actually have a physical store for customers to come into, we're online or we deal directly with our own uh, client base, we were not able to get a distributorship with Bad Idea. So we are out. So they told us, you know, we have to actually buy these from the comic book stores ourselves. So. We actually bought all these on the secondary market. I think we were able to acquire about 10 copies of this that we're going to send into CGC. We typically don't discuss uncertified comics, just the certified comics here on certified collectibles, but since this is such an important work and since we've received so many phone calls about it, we thought we should have a discussion about this particular work as when it's still trending and super popular right now. So, like I said, bad idea, published, these, published uh, the hero trade, they're going to be a non-conventional comic book company. They've attached a lot of incredible talent. Jeff Lemire is with them, Matt Kine, like I mentioned, Joshua Dessart, Louis LaRosa, Margaret Benet, uh, Jody Hauser. Those are just a few of the writers and illustrators they've brought on board already. But I think the most impressive and the most influential of the people that they have on board is their co-CEO and co-creative director, Dinesh Shamdasani. Now, if you don't know that name, you probably should. He actually created Mindhive, the company, the LA-based production company that produced the Amazon series uh, The Expanse and The Witcher for Netflix. He's also currently filming, uh, producing Bloodshot, starring Vin Diesel for the uh, for a feature film. You know, probably going to be released in about a year. It all depends on when movie theaters get up and running again. But he's also going to be working on a live a live action adaptation of Final Fantasy as well as a TV show for Gideon Falls. If you don't know, Gideon Falls was actually another comic book that was written by Jeff Lemire. He also wrote Black Hammer, and he is also already attached to the company. So they've amassed a really good base of talent and a really good base of executives and creatives that already are connected to the motion picture and television world. So in our opinion, there's going to be a lot of titles that come out of Bad Idea that are going to translate right into TV or right into film. So that is going to be a driver for some of their titles going forward as far as investment opportunity for a lot of their comic books. But like I mentioned, you've got to go to the comic book store to get them. They're not, on, not, they're not digital. They're not available for online retailers. But another thing they're doing is limiting one copy per customer at the comic book stores. They're locking retailers into these particular agreements. So... They're going to be tough to get. They're going to be low print runs. Like I said, this one here, 150 copies or 100 copies. The, the official number is not out yet. Only two stores reordered more copies of these out of the 100 that initially received them. So there's not going to be a lot of copies out there. Unofficial numbers are between 100 and 150 that actually were shipped out. Like I said, we actually spoke with the guys a bad idea, and there are no additional copies. 
So what they printed and what they sent out, they seem like they're really sticking to their guns, at least for the first year, on their distribution model, their marketing techniques, and their print runs. So some of the early works out of Bad Idea might be really good investment opportunities, depending upon price, you know, entry point is everything, like I mentioned in another video. So let's discuss the investment opportunity or investment potential of the hero trait itself. Like I said, these books arrived unsolicited. A lot of times comic books throw away unsolicited comics. They do not pay much attention to them. They get them all the time. This one here is actually printed on heavy cardstock. So these are going to be rather durable. Unless they're damaged in transit, these should all be pretty high grade. So every one of these that was issued is probably going to be high grade. Very similar to The Walking Dead, number one. All those are 9 eighths or, or above. But still, they trade for a high premium. So all these should be in high grade. Like I said, they did come with a little advertisement for more, but this is this is unnecessary if you're actually investing in these for the long term. The low print run is not a driver in value itself, but you're adding a low print run to a very clever marketing idea. These like a secret book that arrived overnight, so it's always going to have a little hype about it, being that there's only 150 or 100 produced, being that it's Matt Kind that wrote it and David Lapham that illustrated it. It's, it's going to have a lot of buzz behind it going forward. And like I said, a lot of the titles coming out of Bad Idea, we believe are going to make it to TV or, or film. So if these actually become television shows or motion pictures, that's going to be another driver for value going forward, especially if they're well received. So, you know, Amazon's new, new show, The Boys, you know, that was a comic nobody cared about, but now try to find you know, the boys number one in nine, CGC 9.8 for any reasonable price, you know, it's impossible. So it does, you know, translation to TV and film does push up the value. You know, how long that's sustainable is anybody's guess. A lot with, with a lot of these new titles, we don't really know right now. We'll see in a few years if they held their price momentum. But this book here, like I mentioned, Originally started trading uh, for about 300 bucks on eBay. I think the last few copies I saw sold for about 800 to thousand dollars. So very great price appreci appreciation already. Uh, so you got to be careful what you're paying on the entry point. Like I said, we did a whole other video on investing in collectibles and how to make money in them. So entry point is everything. So make sure you're getting in at the right entry point. But these books are going to be very highly collectible. We believe the people that are attached. The potential for TV film adaptations, we do believe these books are a good investment opportunity going forward, the hero trade number one. Please let us know what you guys think. Drop us some comments in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys think about Bad Idea, about this marketing gimmick that they pulled off with the hero trade. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.